Hi guys, today we'll be showing you 10 awesome terminal commands to act like you are a hacker. If you want to impress your friends or make your friends believe that you are a computer hacker, you should be using this command that I'm about to show you now. All you need is just the keyboard and make sure that the terminal app is running. To make the terminal app running, it's easy. Go to spotlight search, command space, type in terminal here. Make sure terminal is running and then you're good to go. And these 10 terminal commands that I'm about to show you, maybe you know some of them, maybe you know none of them, but these are 10 best terminal commands that you should not want to miss. So without further ado, let's get started. The first command is for changing screenshot size and format type. As you know that in order to screenshot your Mac, you need to click command shift number three. That one, if you want to screenshot the whole page, let me show you an example. So command shift number three here. So you want to screenshot the whole page. And if you want to screenshot the selected part of the screen, you click command shift number four. And then you select the area where you want to have a screenshot. And it's here. And why I'm showing you this? Because every time you screenshot your Mac, the file will be automatically saved to the desktop. It is with the format of PNG. Let me show you here. Look at this file. If you take a look at the ending here, you say portable network graphics image, which means PNG. Look at the size of this file. It is 6.2 megabytes. So these files both consume big space and also it's saved into a kind of format that you don't normally use. The format that people normally use is JPG or JPEG. So some people may end up using an extra tool to convert from PNG file to JPEG, which would deteriorate the image quality. Well, with the command that I am about to show you now, you don't need to worry about the screenshot file consuming big space or worry about an extra converting tool. You just type this command in the terminal and it will automatically save the screenshot file into JPEG with a much smaller size but with still clear picture. So let me show you here. You just type in defaults right com.apple.screen capture Type. And after the word type, you just put in the format that you want because right now we want to change from PNG to JPEG. Just type JPG and click enter. Done. Now let's try to screenshot again. Okay, let's take a look at this file here. Let's see the format. You can see JPEG and look at the size. It's less than one megabyte. So next time when I want to screenshot, it will be automatically in the JPEG format. This is the first command. Let's move on to command number two. Command number two is for encrypting and decrypting a file. For example, you want to share a file with someone and you want to make sure that no one else would be able to use or access that file, even if they manage to get their hands on the file. To make it more simple, no one can open the file unless they have the right password from you. These are called encryption and decryption. How can you encrypt a file? To encrypt a file, you just type in open SSS and you type in ENC it means encrypt space minus AES and then minus again 256 minus again CBC so this line is it is the standard encryption It's 256 bits and then you space minus minus E E it means encrypt you type here D it means decrypt because right now I want to encrypt the file and then minus in it means integer and then I want to encrypt the file here like I have this file now you can open the file so it's easy just drag here drop and also be careful you have to make sure that the name of the file is without space if you have for example like testing lesson if you have a space between the title of the file you need to make sure that you put underscore in the middle because terminal does not recognize if you have a space between the file name so you can either just type only a word for the, the name of the file or if you use two words name you just have to have underscore between the two words then type minus out it mean output where do you want to save the file so i just drag it because i want to save it in the same place so that it's easy for me to access the file and i change the name here i don't want it to have the same name 
test it and then you click enter now you see it asks you to type in the 256 bits encryption password so you can type any password you want this password will be used by someone who wants to access your file it can be your friend or anyone that you share this file with so type any password let me type my password in type it again Done. Now you can see this is a new file that it has been saved on my desktop. So if I double click on it, let's see what happened. You see here, the file tested.pdf could not be opened. See, for other people, they may think this file has already been corrupted or crushed. So they may delete this file because they think it cannot be opened. But in fact, this file is okay. Only the person with the right password can access this file. So you can share this file with your friend and then ask them to use this command and type in the password in order to access the file. So in order to decrypt the file, so now you have encrypted this file. What if you want to decrypt it? Just type in the same command here. Everything is the same. This is the place where you change from encrypt to decrypt. So if you type E, it means encrypt. But if you type D, it means decrypt. Also, the file you want to decrypt is this file. It's not the first file. So make sure that you change the name here to test it because you want to decrypt this file, not this file. And output, you also need to change the name. Like you put decoded, for example. And now you click enter. Now it asks you to type in the decryption password. So this is when you give your password to your friend. Just type it in. Click enter. Now, the file has been decrypted here. The new file name decoded. Let's open it. You see? This is command number two. Let's move on to command number three. Command number three is for shutting down your Mac. You may think, hey, I can shut down my Mac by clicking here. It's fast and easy, right? Yeah, of course, it is fast. So why do you need to type a command if you can shut down it from here? Well, when you click shut down, it will shut down quickly. But what happens if you want to shut down your Mac at a specific time? Let's say you want to shut it down at 7 or right now it's 9, 18 p.m. I want to shut it down at 10 p.m. If you shut down it here, it will just shut down quickly. It does not wait until 10. But how can you shut down at a specific time? With this, you can't. You cannot do that. Also, sometimes you want your computer to shut down in the next 40 minutes or in the next 20 minutes while you are away. How do you do that? With the command I'm about to show you, you can do that. So to shut down your computer at a specific time, just type in, let me zoom in real quick. Just type in sudo shutdown minus h and you type in the time. Time right now is 10.39 and because in terminal, they're using 24-hour time format. I want to close it at 11, so it should be 23-hour. Click enter. They ask you to type in the password. This password is the administrative password. Password that they use to log in your computer. Type it in and click enter. Here, it's done. They say shut down at Saturday, April the 1st at this time. You can also shut it down in the next 20 or 40 minutes. Just type in sudo shutdown minus h and you click plus and you type in the number so you want to shut it down in the next 40 minutes so you type 40 remember this number is in the minute not in the hour you want to type it in the hour that you want to shut it down in the next two hours one hour 60 minutes so it should be 120 that is when you want to shut it down in the next two hours but let's say it's 40 minutes you click enter here they have a message saying so the shutdown in the next 40 minutes Command number four is for rebooting or restarting your Mac. So it's very similar to shutting down your computer. What if you want to restart your Mac at a very specific time? How do you do that? Again, if you click here, if you click restart, it will restart now. But if you want it to restart at a specific time, it's similar to the shutdown your computer at a specific time. You just type in sudo and then shut down. This time you don't type H, you type R, it means restart. And then you put in the time that you want it to restart at, for example, at 11. And in terminal, they use 24 hour time format. So it should be 23 hour. Click enter here. Sometimes they ask you to type in the administrative password, sometimes it doesn't. But you see here, it will restart at this time. If you want it to restart in the next 20 or 40 minutes, just type in sudo shutdown minus R, R means restart or reboot. 
and you type in the time that you want it to restart like in the next 20 minutes just type plus and you type in the number 20 again the number 20 here this is in minute not in the hour so you just click enter here it show you a message saying the system will shut down at 2152 which means 952 this is command number four command number five is for undoing or removing your previous shutdown or restart command like I already type in my restart command but for example I suddenly realized that I don't want my Mac to restart so how can I undo the previous shutdown or restart command how can I remove this if I keep it like this it will restart in the next 20 minutes it's, it's simple you just type in sudo and then you type in kill all and you type in the word shutdown so sudo kill all shutdown that is when you want to cancel your previous restart or shutdown command just click enter done it won't restart that is how you can undo or remove the previous shutdown or restart command let's move on to the next command command number six is for making your mac talk so how can you make your mac talk so if you want to make your Mac speak up literally like speak up a word or a phrase or a sentence or even a paragraph to you how can you do that can your Mac talk yes sure your Mac can talk but to an extent in fact your Mac can speak up whatever you write for it to read for example if you want your Mac to speak up I love you just type in say space and you put quotation you type in I love you and then you put back quotation again you click enter I love you okay you see the Mac read this message for you, you can type anything so again I wanted to read this paragraph for me say quotation paste you put quotation again and you click enter questions about his campaign's alleged ties to Moscow seem to proliferate by the hour the mushroom cloud surrounding his baseless allegations that President Barack Obama wiretapped Trump Tower is spreading faster. The investigations have become difficult to keep track of, and those are just the ones we know about. You see, he can read the whole paragraph for you. This is command number six. Let's move on to command number seven. Command number seven is for preventing your Mac from sleeping. You may know that if you leave your Mac unattended or without touching anything for a certain period of time your Mac will go to sleep which means whatever app you have running will sleep with it some apps may still be running in the background but most will sleep this will prevent your running project from completing so to temporarily prevent your Mac from sleeping just type in cafe innate here cafe innate if you type this in if you click enter which means your Mac will never sleep but what happens if you want to undo the change for this command you cannot use the previous undo command like kill all you cannot use that to undo this command for cafe innate you just click Control c here Control c it will undo your previous command what if you want to make your mac stay awake for a certain period of time how would you do that the same thing you type in cafe innate but this time you have to add minus u minus t and then you type in the number and remember this number is in seconds not in minutes so if you want it to stay awake for let's say one hour so one minute is equal 60 seconds one hour it should be 3600 so this one is for one hour you click enter and your Mac will stay awake for one hour after that it will sleep again and if you want to undo this command again you click Control C let's move on to another command command number eight is for enabling quit option in finder so if you use Mac you may know finder here if I open finder if I want to close finder you click here you see there is no quit option you may be able to click here but finder is still running you see this small black dot here it means it's still running in the background how can you completely close finder if you don't have the feature to quit finder if you take a look at other apps let me open this click here you can see quit VLC which means you can quit this and the black dot goes away which means it is completely closed to add this quit option to finder just type in defaults right com dot apple let me make it big here dot finder space quit menu item space minus bool and you type at the end yes and you click enter and done now you need to type one more command you need to type in kill all finder because 
Finder is still running. You want to kill it so that the new feature is added. If it's still running, it cannot be added. So just type in kill all finder, click enter. Now let's open finder again. Click it. You can see at the bottom it says quit finder. Just click quit finder. You see? Now you don't see the black dot anymore, which means your finder is completely closed. So what happens if you want all of it to be back to the way it was before? You want to remove the quit finder feature. Again, just type in the same thing here, the same command, defaults right com.apple.finder quit menu item bool and then the end the word yes you type in no it's time you type no you click enter and you need to type again one more command kill all finder click enter let's see if it's still running Oh, it's already closed, so that's why they say no matching. So it's already closed, so you don't have to type in kill all finder. Let's open finder again. You see, the quit option is gone. So that is how you can add quit option to finder. Let's move on to another command. Command number 9 is for quitting or closing a running app completely on your Mac. So as you know that when you close an app on your Mac, it is still running in the background. So for example, I, I have this running. If I close it, you see here Safari app and you see the small black dot next to it showing that Safari is still running. If you want to completely quit Safari, you may click here to quit or you can use command Q. So I just use command Q, it's gone, no more black dot. Yes, that is one way, but there is another way. With the command that I am about to show you, it not only quits the app, but also force quit that app. Which means, for example, like some app it's running but somehow gets stuck and you try to quit it like this, it's still running, it's frozen for example. So how can you force quit that app? You can only quit it but you cannot force quit. But with the command I'm about to show you, you can force quit it. This command can close the app completely also to kill any frozen app as well. So to do that, let me zoom in here. So to kill an app completely, just type in p kill space and then quotation and you type in the application name let's see so i have safari running just type in safari and quotation again you click enter you see safari is gone this is p kill to quit your app completely the last command of this list command number 10 is for opening an app from anywhere on your mac you may think why do i have to use command if i can click on the app that i i need to run right here on the sidebar you want it to run just click on it why do you have to use command to run an app that's stupid right yes you can do that but like i have told you earlier you want to show your friends that you are a real hacker or to impress your friends you click it here they can do it too so you cannot impress them but with this command you can access any of those apps anywhere from your home screen or while you're using another app make sure you just have terminal running and to open an app you just type open let me zoom in here just type in open space minus a and you type the app name what app do i want it to run let's say any trends here i want it to run so just type any trends click enter see it's running you want to open itunes open minus a itunes click enter here that's it guys these are 10 of the best terminal commands that you should know because it may make you look like a real hacker so thank you so much for watching if you like the video please click like comment down below and subscribe for more useful video in the future have a great day guys see you in the next video